九十九，哎，都拜，都拜。就差，差，门前，一哆嗦。Okay, hello, dear friends. Good morning. Such a beautiful, beautiful morning. So here, <coughs> the uh, yesterday I did a video about Chinese, and here is my way of uh, uh, teaching Chinese or explaining about Chinese, Chinese words and Chinese culture. <coughs> I was thinking, uh, because Chinese is difficult, is very far away from our uh, uh, from uh, English or other. A phonetic based language, so it uh, it just um, too far away to get into the detail of grammar and things. But there are something that is interesting, such as this one, such as some Chinese phrases, and there is a lot of culture, a lot of way of thinking, a lot of philosophy. That's such a big word. A lot of just a normal Chinese way of thinking. Why Chinese? Why、uh, we think this way? And at the end of the day, you find that deep rooted, deep rooted feeling, emotion, and sense is very universal. Very universal. And this particular one is not a.、Uh, um, uh, A book language in the textbook or in the in the, a beautiful prose、um, essay writing, it's very 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 colloquial, and it's nothing bad. This is a very cute and interesting way of saying things. It's just not a.、Um, this is not at all bad language. This is not at all. Uh, not elegant language. It's just so colloquial and so uh, uh, so easygoing, so fun. And this particular one has a lot of Beijing accent. 九十九拜都拜了，九九十九九十九 ninety nine 拜。Bye, bye, bye, bye. Do do o. Bye. La. Ninety-nine bye. Do bye. La. Nine. Nine. Cha. Mun mo en. Qian qi yi en. Qian yi de wu. 多多所思多。Okay, 九十九 is ninety nine. By is prayer, blessing, prayer. Oh, uh, bless me. Okay, I pray for Amen. 都拜了 already. Uh, prayed. Ninety nine prayer has been worshipped. 就差 just 差 Miss, okay. I use another color to write it. Nine, ten, nine. Is that good? Nine, ten, nine, <laughs> ninety-nine. Prayer. Though all have been. Have been, been, by worshipped, worshipped. 就差 
dressed missing men qian men qian is very chinese uh beijing way of talking men qian in front of the door men kar jiu cha men kar yi duo suo jiu cha men qian men qian men kar door door step men kar okay jiu cha men kar yi duo suo one shiver does it make any sense to you does it make any sense here okay 99倍都敗了就差門前這一多所 i heard this i think uh, um 30, 40 years ago or even almost 50 years ago you know my age okay i am already so ancient <coughs> ancient okay so around 50 years ago or even long longer and uh, my family was not from Beijing was from countryside and then went to capital so a lot of uh, local Beijing dialect Beijing language we do not know very uh, a very hardcore solid and one of my relative my aunt is Jinze one of my relatives and uh, she said something I heard and I did not understand at the beginning and uh, but I can feel the sense of it so 99倍,你瞧你慢着,你99倍都拜了,就差这门前你多嗦,你鼓鼓劲儿就把这事儿就过去了 you have prayed 99 prayers you have all worshipped you have done your effort and there is only one thing missing one shiver one shiver but and one very last small effort you need to do and you have not yet done if you get it done you will be successful if you do not get it done all things will be collapsed all your effort will not be paid off so this kind of situation happens very much we are in election so the, the, the election time so you have done all the effort from midterm from the job and at the very very last moment you push it and you get it or you do not get it I am not for or against anybody, anything, any political party. I am just saying it's just the very last moment, very last little push, very last little luck. Sometimes it's just luck. You are not there and you are completely missing the point. You are completely missing it. And another very, very, uh, very accurate or very precise to explain this kind of situation is something like um, the, the NFL, the hockey game, the games, hockey game, basketball games, and uh, soccer games, any of these games. All, the, all these players, they have trained for Olympic Games for their whole life for this they have done everything 99 prayers 900 9000 9 million of prayers they have done but just at that moment when fighting when competing that teeny tiny little thing that missed the point and your 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 complete effort of all these years is just not counted there is something uh, a very uh, regretful very sorrow there is no political uh, thing about it there is no not so much feeling not so much it's just a fact it's just a fact sometimes 
I think in that particular moment, 25, I don't know, uh, 55, 50 years ago, when I heard this, my auntie told her daughter, at that moment, the meaning is that you have made all the effort. Do not let the last shiver to, to collapse your whole effort. Keep up. Keep on. Do it. You can get it. Don't let the last little push get you down. That was what she said at that time. But in other sense, it's, it's one of the fact. You're just not getting there. In English, we have a, a saying, I think it is the last straw on the haystalk that uh, collapsed the camel, is that you reach to a critical point and then uh, you add one more thing. It all collapsed because you are too heavy. You are putting too much things into the, 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 into it. I heard my, my colleagues say this, and, uh, and sometimes I feel it. I already, in my class, in my work, and uh, I think this is for a lot of us is true, that we are already having so much, and just one more little thing. It could be so small, so tiny, but that little Teeny, lighty, teeny, tiny little thing is the breaking point, is the saturation breaking point. That is to explain a kind of a, a critical point. If you take it as a positive, take it positively as a push, whatever effort you have made, do not, never, ever, Ever, never, never, ever, ever, never, never give up at the very last push. You do not want to regret yourself because you are missing the last push. Comparing with the last straw in the, in the haystack that uh, collapsed a camel, this one is... Uh, Get into that point so that you can make it success. And uh, the other one, the English saying, the haystalk, uh, is you get already too much. Any more of it will collapse it. You will be damaged. You will be destroyed. Do you think it's fun? If you think it's fun, I have other words I already written down. I like to explain Chinese in this way. I do not know whether this brings any interest to you. If you think it is interesting and worth your time to watch, worth my time to make, I will keep on. It's about a Chinese philosophy. Uh, an eye for an eye and tooth for a, a tooth for a tooth. And that is uh, the, the very straightforward way of revenge. And uh, in Chinese, we have a saying, 兵来将挡,水来土屯. When the soldier came, we have marshals to, to fight against those soldiers. We have strategies to go against it. And when, the, when there is water, we do not use water to push it back. We use uh, earth, soil, to block it, to stop it. So whenever there is a problem, there is a, a counter strategy to deal with it. Do not fight back. All what I want to say for, for, for future video, if you are interested, is about uh, um, revenge. Do not revenge. Do not fight back when other people... Uh, hurt us. We need to find another level of strategy to deal with our problem. 
let me know what you think so that I will decide if I do this one or not. Thank you very, very, very much. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Bye, bye. 谢谢大家。再见。好好休息，天天快乐。